Hey guys, hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. It's been so long since I've actually sat down and filmed a video. It's been a bit of a crazy summer. I've been traveling, working a lot, seeing friends. I had three weddings in August, which were amazing. I loved every single one, but it was quite exhausting. So I haven't really been keeping up with my YouTube channel and with filming at all. I kind of lost my mojo a little bit, lost some creative juices, but really keen to kind of get back into it. So I just thought, um, ease my way back in and just do very normal everyday get ready with me. I'll show you kind of what I'm using at the moment in terms of my usual day-to-day -day makeup routine and just generally chit chat. Let's just get straight into it. I am using a couple, I've started using kind of multiple primers at the moment. So I'm using, and again, I'm gonna do um, all of this in the description box below, but finishing off my high adherence silicone primer for my cheeks on my face, and then using the Cover FX blurring primer, which I had a really great sample of, and now I bought the full size of it for my kind of pore refining T-zone. I think primer's always like really boring to watch. It's just putting stuff on your face, but I generally just rub it into the cheeks on this side because that just helps the foundation stick on the cheeks. Might bring it down the side of my face. I'm gonna need to get a clip for my hair because that's gonna drive me bananas. And then with the blurring primer, you really don't need very much of this. I find that it pills up if you put too much on, but just the tiniest amount and then just rub that in and it does make a difference. I'm not having like, all summer I've had like really, really great skin. I've been really kind of fortunate. I've been like religiously sticking to my routine, but it's gone a bit slack recently. So I'm gonna go for something a little bit kind of dewier and a bit different. So I'm actually gonna mix my Yves Saint Laurent All Hours Foundation, which I adore. I did a first impressions on this and I wasn't keen at first, but um, the more and more I've used it, the more and more I absolutely adore it. And I'm also gonna mix in the Cover FX Enhancing Drop in Rose Gold. So all I do is I, which one should I do first? Just put a couple of pumps like straight onto my hand or kind of maybe one and a half, that was quite big. And then the rose gold kind of drops, just like you drop it into the foundation, maybe one, one drop. Ooh. Girls are texting. And then I just grab my beauty blender and then like dab it onto my hand and then just go straight in here. It gives like a really nice, like amazing coverage because like the foundation's got really good coverage, but also like a little bit of a like glowiness to it, which is what the enhancer drops like do. I've kind of got really into, oh, what's the word? Mixing and matching and kind of doing my own concoction of things. Like, like I use two different primers and mixing. I'm not into kind of mixing foundations yet, but you never know, maybe one day. I'm going to street food for dinner with the girls and the boy later, so that will be super nice. Yes, I said the word boy, he exists, no. I guess layering up concealers is the other thing that I've been doing. So I've been using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. It's, I don't think it's as good as the Lasting Perfection uh, one, actually. I think this one creases a little bit more, especially if you maybe don't set it brilliantly. So, but I'm trying to get better at like not wasting makeup, like only buying makeup that I really think like I have heard really good things about or that I know that I really, really want to try. Um, I'm kind of, you know, don't want to be wasteful and just buy things for the sake of YouTube or for the sake of anything else. I mean, if this ever turned into my job one day, then that's a little bit of a different story because you get usually sent stuff to try and that's your job, but this is not my job, this is my hobby. So I'm buying makeup for me. So sorry, I completely missed a step. So I'm using the Maybelline uh, Instant Anti-Age Eraser Concealer. Um, and this is quite pinky. I don't know if you can maybe see that in the bottle. Um, but it just kind of helps brighten. So I've just kind of layered on kind of two different concealers there. And I really like this trick because it means you don't have to wear, you know, loads and loads of foundation, but you can kind of cover up and get coverage where you need to, which for me is under my eyes. But like I said, I've been like trying to think of some kind of new and different kind of things to do on YouTube. Like different videos to do, different content. Um, I'm actually starting to think about moving into, you know, makeup and beauty and skincare will always be the stuff that I, I love doing and my kind of starting point. But 
I'm kind of interested in moving into more like lifestyle-y. I'm getting quite into like interiors and decorating. And there's a couple of like bits and pieces that I want to do to my own flat. So would you guys be interested if I filmed a bit of that and see what I get up to? Likewise, I'm not really, I can't really see myself doing like fashion-y stuff really, but maybe that's interesting. Um, I don't know, maybe. I also had a really good chat with a friend and she was saying, you know, actually, you know, I, ooh, just dropping stuff everywhere. You know, I do pretty well at like what I do and maybe there's kind of life advice or life tips or hacks from like a work perspective. Like how do I keep myself motivated at work? How do I deal with like difficult situations at work, which I've had to, you know, a fair amount in my days. And maybe kind of more kind of life hacks and what I do to kind of cope with that. I don't know, is that interesting? I don't know. I've just kind of put a very light layer of um, the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder under my eyes. I'm not gonna set my whole face because I might just top up and add stuff later when I go out, but for now, just that, just to set the concealer. I've just very quickly done my eyebrows, which feel like really kind of big and brown on the camera, actually. Maybe I need to tone them down a little bit. Um, I just think it's really boring doing eyebrows. It's one of those things which I always do, and I always think, feel like my face is weird if I've never had them done, but watching people do it is like not that interesting. So I'm not kind of going full, full on glam today. Um, just kind of keeping it pretty usual. Um, again, this is, you probably will have seen this in a previous video. This is the L'Oreal, L'Oreal Paris Life's a Peach Blush and I love this stuff. It's so good. Oh, I haven't put any bronzer on yet. Maybe I should do that first. Yeah, maybe we should. Where are all my brushes gone? Oh my God, I haven't even brought them in. All right, hang on. So I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronzer. And this is just the best bronzer ever. It's got a huge pan in, so I get a really big fluffy brush and can kind of really wiggle it in there. And it doesn't smell as strong as it did when I first bought it, but it smells of coconuts, which I think is really, really nice. So I don't tend to kind of bronze everywhere. I kind of almost use it as a bit like a contour, but like a loose, rough contour. So kind of get the contour areas, but not be that precise with it. Just kind of generally bronze up the face. I've also started recently doing Slimming World again. So for those that don't know anything about it, it's a diet program, I think started in the States, but it's also really big in the UK. And it's this, it's really, really good. It's worked really well for me before. Um, and the idea is that you are never ever hungry. You, there's so much that you can eat of like free foods and then basically you count your kind of bad foods and you're allowed like 50, 15 sins a day. Um, and it really, really worked for me. I really, really like it. So I'm kind of going through, you know, I'm a, I'm a big advocate of like body confidence and positivity around that. You know, I don't usually really try to avoid using the F word, the fat word, because I just think it's really negative and it's got loads of negative connotations about it. But sometimes I have those days where I just really am pretty unhappy. So, it's good to just do something about it, but is again, is that something you're interested in? Do you want to see what I eat? What I eat in a day? I really like those videos, watching them. Um, it gives me a lot of inspiration, especially when it comes to like healthy eating and how you have how you keep full during the day with like snacks and stuff. Um, and I'm really getting into kind of cooking, back into cooking and stuff. There was a phase where I just didn't cook. I was just so bored with it. It was so hot in Denmark and then my flat was really warm and then the oven was on and I just couldn't deal with it. So it's starting to get a bit cooler now. I'm starting to get my mojo back a little bit. Just putting that L'Oreal Paris peach blush on again, which I adore. Yeah, maybe that's something you're interested in. I don't know, I'm kind of reaching out for you guys to maybe help me give me a little bit of inspiration. So any suggestions are warmly, warmly welcome. So I'm gonna kind of do some eyes now. So this is a super cute little palette that I got from Sephora. So this is from Tarte and this is the Tease palette. So it's got just some really nice, kind of a cool tone kind of purple and then a more kind of bronzy brown, just so you can do kind of any kind of, well not any kind of eye look, but a couple of like really nice little looks with this. Um, and I think this is super useful for traveling. I travel quite a lot and this is just so easy to throw in my bag to do like a very basic, everyday kind of neutral or if I want to smoke it up for the evenings then I can easily do that as well. I'm actually really into the kind of purple side of it so I'm going to do that. So this is a really 
don't know if you can kind of see it's a really light lavender that I'm just gonna put all over the lid uh, um, I started to do like a bit of an eyeshadow series um, I did a smoky eye I did intend to do more because I've got pretty good at it um, do you guys want to see more of that um, I'm really excited Halloween's coming up soon and I really want to practice my kind of Halloween makeup because everybody everybody loves that I'm just really lightly dipping into the very dark kind of purple and kind of just very lightly putting that in the crease let me zoom you guys in so at least you can see a little bit more of what I'm doing. There we go. But is that something that you're interested to see a little bit more of? Eyeshadow looks and kind of how to use different eyeshadows. Again, this is the... I have a, like a very basic three-step formula, which is just what I do every day. And then I'm just going to go with this middle shade here, which is the kind of shimmer shade... I put a little bit of MAC Fix Plus on it and I'm just going to put that all over the middle of my lid just to give it a little bit of sparkle. I also really like watching when other people do like other kinds of favourites, so like books and TV shows and podcasts and things like that. Maybe I, I you know, I actually had a, a suggestion from a friend of mine like what, because I'm quite into gin as well. Like, what if we did like a gin tasting or something, or kind of recommended like my favorite gins? Like, that would be really, really cool, I think. But you guys into that? I think so. Especially if I got like, I don't know, it'd be really cool if my sister maybe came on and did that with me and we got to like just try loads of different gins and maybe just got a little bit tipsy. I'm just getting that really dark purple again and just kind of bringing that on the corner of the lower lash line as well just helps smoke it out a little bit and make it feel, I don't know, without wearing like full on eyeliner, which I'm doing less and less. I'm doing more of this and using eyeshadow. Blend, 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 blend. They're all together as like a finishing step. So that all looks kind of nice and together. And then I'm just gonna throw some mascara on. I've already got the wand ready, but this is the, yeah, I'm not doing a very good job. This is the Marc Jacobs. Velvet Noir Mascara, which I'm completely obsessed with and I love it. Oh, the police are here. Someone's in trouble. Or they're not very well. I always pick like the worst time to do filming. So like I've got my dishwasher on. The seagulls are out. The policeman are out. My dishwasher's on. But yeah, I think this mascara is just beautiful. I feel like it really like lengthens and volumizes the lashes it's definitely a firm firm favorite i think i've recommended it to quite a lot of people as well so i'm just going to finish up with the wet and wild um, highlighter what color is this precious pearls highlighting powder this is a super pretty super kind of illuminous highlighter and i think it's i've actually never tried it wet so I'm gonna try that right now. So I've got my setting brush here, which I also like to use for highlighting because it gets, it's a nice kind of small brush. So let's try it wet. I bet this is, I bet this is good actually. Ooh, hello. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, that's really, it's a really, really pretty highlighter. It's like, you can see it, um, but it's not, I, I, I see these girls sometimes and this blinding highlight look, I really like it. I think it looks awesome on Instagram, on YouTube, in the mirror. But then as the day goes on, I think it separates or it can separate. So it's just like this line of highlighter. And I think that you've just got to be a wee bit careful about that. And then lastly, I'm not going to put any, oh my God, I've just sprayed like MAC Fix Plus over like everything. Such a professional YouTuber. Oh yeah, I've got my Netflix on in the background as well. Awesome, super profesh. Yeah, so lastly, I'm not gonna put any lipstick on right now because I'm, like, I'm gonna go out later and I'll probably put some on later and my lips are feeling super, super dry. So I'm gonna put this on. So this I bought, this is from Desiem, which is the same company that own The Ordinary. What's the brand? Abnormally or Abnum Abnormally, I think. And anyway, it's their Petra Watt coconut milk lip balm and I bought it and the lady in the shop and this is not just for lips it's first like different skin areas and it's like a re it's a clear it's a clear gel I don't know if you can there you go come on it's a clear gel and 
It's a few different flavours. I think this is the best one. And this is definitely the one that the lady said was the best selling. And again, like you see, it's just a clear lip balm. It's, it, it is super, super moisturising. It's got a bit of a weird flavour. It's almost quite salty. And the lady in the shop that's be said that's because of the amino acids in it. Um, so it's got loads of really good ingredients in there. So I actually like to wear this at night as well. And I kind of like this kind of retro kind of tubing they've got going on here. And it's like really easy to get out and um, it's really nice. So highly recommend that as well. Doing makeup and putting makeup on is fun. Do you guys like tutorials? I've kind of done a few, but I actually just kind of maybe prefer just talking about stuff. So is that more fun to watch? Do you want to see me put it on? I'm happy to do anything. I kind of will sit in front of a camera and do whatever. Well, obviously not do whatever within the makeup realm. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this chat to get ready with me. Uh, to be honest, I'll probably get more value from you guys. I really want your recommendations, thoughts. What videos do you like watching? What do you think about me moving kind of more into more lifestyle-y kind of stuff um, rather than just focus on makeup and beauty? I'm really happy and very, very welcoming your feedback and thoughts. So I'm um, hoping you guys can help me out a little bit. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my Instagram and to this channel if you would like to see more from me, um, particularly if you've suggested something. Um, and until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks guys, bye.